Welcome back, and so when we left off on Friday, uh, this uh, plug for the firewall was up on the mill, and so this is Monday morning now, and um, Zach and Mark are working on glassing it, so we can uh, spray some putty on there, and that one was a little tricky just because of the those sort of high areas sticking out there, just means you have to be careful with the mill, not bump into them. And meanwhile, um, also up on the mill here, these are these A-frames that support the firewall. And so one's already completed there halfway through Monday, and there's the second one running. So these are pretty simple. Um, it didn't take too long to get both of those uh, done. So they'll be ready for glassing there shortly, as you will see. And just run with the flat mill and then the ball mill around the edges there, so we uh, have a nice transition to the flange. And here's Zach not wasting any time uh, getting that first one in uh, fiberglass. So, and again, this is just real easy. It would be nice if everything was as easy as this one. And in between the glassing, um, both Mark and Zach were working on uh, waxing up the next section of these um, frames for the doors. So they had to wax those backboards that got laid up there, five coats of wax on those and a couple more coats uh, just on the actual area there for the mold. Um, it's going to be laid just so that that was nice and clean and laid up and here's the other a-frame so that one's now done on the mill and the next one up here is these um, braces that support the firewall and actually where the engine will mount to and while all that was going on I quickly created these little uh, braces out of foam for these molds that have uh, that were done for the window frames and this is just so we have a nice sort of uh, flat section there when we flip those over and you can see you just take a bit of foam there and use the scribe and just scribe around um, the profile of the actual mold itself and then you just take it up on the bandsaw and cut it out as best you can okay so here's the plug for the two uh, braces there that go between uh, the firewall and the aft bulkhead and and the engine mounts up to and cutting the actual braces themselves not the flanges uh, decided to use the ball mill there because there's some um, sort of fillets on the edges and that sort of stuff and just wanted to do a neat kind of job with that so fired that off on uh, Monday evening it wasn't gonna take very long but anyway it was at the end of the day so fired that off and it was all done um, a couple of hours later and came in for today and finished it off and this is still uh, Monday afternoon here and so Zach as finishing up the other A-frame plug just with the glass on that so that's another one that's ready for putty now so we have uh, three right now ready for putty so the plug for the firewall braces is finished and now this one is for the center console so this is basically going to be the console armrest and and sort of throttle control that sort of stuff that you saw in the last video in the CAD and today uh, the guys got to start on uh, doing the next section of these um, molds for these outer door frames so just did again one of each so the next section there so this will make uh, six pieces done when these two are done out of uh, the total of ten and there's Zach working on the other one so mating you know two of the pieces together here and these ones are actually fairly easy it wasn't too tricky to get in under there and the positioning was really good and there was uh, good light coming in the door and that so uh, guys didn't have too many problems getting that sorted out today and here we are a little further along on the plug for the center console and right now just with a flat mill and just actually milling the side uh, the right hand side of it so you see with the rough cut there had to sort of step it down and get rid of most of the stuff that was in the way but now we're on to face cutting it and so here again just a little bit further along that side's been cut and just doing the back right corner there and the mill is just um, dialed in super nice there just even with the long bit here when you think there'd be you know all kinds of opportunity for inaccuracy with it using the long bit but it's just nailing right where it needs to be so super happy about that and now you can see all the paths for the, f the flat end mill have been run so I switched over to the ball mill and this is just really finishing off the top and a little bit of the flanges where there was sort of a concave uh, 
surfaces there but you just see it's just running back and forth there and just putting the right profile there um, on the top of it so you have the nice little uh, sort of uh, storage area there under the, where the armrest is going to be and that's where it's doing in there right now and here you can see this is the finished product all done and cleaned up so ready for glassing so pretty happy about how well that came out um, especially considering how poorly it would have come out a while ago before the machine was dialed in and Roberto and Chris back in the shop this afternoon and so they're um, here they are putting the carbon fiber on those little foam uh, braces that I cut yesterday so just um, that those molds molds will be ready now just need some waxing and stuff and we can lay up those uh, window frames so just another another sort of uh, piece out of the way a lot of work but we're getting through them all and finally here's Zach just finishing up on that mold for today so uh, just putting the peel ply down so anyway that's our update for the first half of this week and uh, thanks again for watching